Good morning, Mom. Good morning, Troll. I was on my phone with my friend Annette. Well, just calling to wish you a happy birthday and see how your day's gone so far. See how the boys were this morning. They were surprisingly good. I was going to make cornbread, but your wife told me you had already made cornbread, but I don't think they liked your cornbread as much as mine. Oh, well, it's thick. Very it was, thick. It was, it was thick cornbread. That's right. We are headed to Tampa to meet with Steve, my buddy, and do a blasting demonstration with EcoQuip. All right. Well, good luck. Yes, ma'am. Thank you. Love you. Okay, Have a great day. Thanks. Bye-bye. We're going to pick up a new EcoQuip 2 trailer unit, see the new fancy hotness that, that comes out this year. Um, then we're going to go head over to International Ship and Repair. I shipped him last week six tons of Green Diamond for him to try on an upcoming project and tell me how much better it is than what they've been using, which is copper slag, that dirty stuff from China. When you're talking about a shipyard like yourself, you blast a lot. You go through a lot of media. Green Diamond compared to copper slag, you almost get 50% more by volume. So I want to say like 45% more media by volume. That means less logistic price, twice the amount of media, and we've got, I'm not going to say, oh, we're 30% faster. We're about 10% faster in speeds. We're here to just let you guys play with the media, tell us what you think. I feel like this is a place where like plasters and paint painters slash graffiti artists come in and and sketch out their ideas of what they're going to do on the uh, overpass. God is good all the time, David. God is good all of the time. Now, Priest, on the other hand, I'm telling you, y'all would rather blast with sand than copper slag. I mean, to be honest, it's a nasty product, man. Like it? Yeah, looks really nice. That was It was. <laughs> the pressurized the pot right here, it's going to automatically set itself to 185 PSI. It's 93% dust free. So really, what, what you're looking at is we're using about half the amount of media right now. But on top of that, it's all caught in water. That pot will last you four and a half to five hours of blast. Really? <laughs> that only ain't gonna last us 45 minutes. They've just come out. It's a beautiful system. and allows two people to work off of one pot. They're debuting it at the SSPC show tomorrow. I can only tell you about it now because it's finally coming out. This is how eventually our industry is gonna go. It's gonna get away from complete dry blasting and it's just gonna become a more environmentally safe product. I definitely like, I like both. I mean, the grit's great, the equipment's great. You wanna go tell Steve that? I'm gonna, I'm gonna tell him that. It impressed me. I'm talking about an SP10. Full white metal blast. Yeah. That quick. I'm gonna let him tell you all the good news. <laughs> it's impressive. That's the first stuff I ever use it that do it that quick. I'm all about efficiency, you know. I'm all about efficiency and about being able to do a job 50% faster to 50% better, you know. So this is all that this would be the next next practical step now that we've proved it out at least on, on horizontal surface. I hope that uh, just just along with all the customers that I run into, I'm trying to help you do your job better. And we absolutely, we absolutely do. If we're going to take you a know. giant step going forward and start doing more than just blast pit working outside on large panels then by all means we we have to get more sophisticated we have to understand you know what the, what the cost factors are involved with that and I, I think I think we're on the right path how are you good to see you good. what's up Bryce hey nice to meet you nice to meet you we're impressed out of the gate we're very impressed with the product okay I think it looks positive at this point in time and we've got you know we've got the the, the blast suit, the two people in the blasting, the, the ones at the top, were very happy with what it's happening. We gotta get that two line going. 
that, yeah. that would probably no. be a big turning point. We gotta get my four line going, right. Bryce. <laughs> Man, it was a smashing success. Uh, winds all around, the media performed outstanding, dry blasting, and with the vapor abrasive blasting equipment. Getting to blast a couple things first with dry blasting and being used to the mess that dry blasting creates, it's an amazing contrast from um, one technology and one system to another. We're wrapping it up here in Tampa and gonna head back to Orlando to uh, get ready for some SSBC setup. Stick around.